In this episode of the Great American Cruise In, I found a super modified 1968 Chevy C10 fleet side that looks like it's ready to pounce on any car that challenges it. And pounce it does. I caught up with owner Bobby Poole, who shared the story behind the modifications he's made to transform this magnificent truck into a high-performance, road-dominating machine. Let's start out by having you tell me what you brought here to the cruise in today. It's a 1968 C10 fleet side. It's a 468 big block car. It's, a, it's got an Animal 700R transmission in it, a 12-bolt rear end. It's like a pro street car, and uh, I built it from the ground up at my house. It's got Cadillac CTS V seats in it. It's got all new flooring in it. It's got a lowered seven inches in the back, three and a half in the front. It's a fun toy. It's a monster to drive. I'll bet. I mean, it's a gorgeous looking car. How did you find it? I found it on Craigslist. Some it was in St. Petersburg, and I think I only paid like five thousand dollars for the body and everything to frame the body. I got a home and stripped it down and started working on it. So you went on Craigslist to find this car. Were you looking for this particular kind of a car? Yes. Yes, I was looking for that one. Specifically that year, that truck. And I found one, lucky, and then went and got it. Went and purchased it and brought it back. So what was the inspiration for this particular car, this particular model? When I was a kid, I wanted one. Just something I wanted. And then I found one and I built the way I wanted it. What kind of modification or restoration did you do to the exterior? You mentioned that it came in county orange. Yeah. Uh, I stripped it all down, looked and fixed any dents were in there, replaced all sheet metal with replacement panels, and then uh, painted it outside my house. Was there a lot of work you had to do to the body? Uh, yeah, there's probably about five, six hundred hours in blocking, sanding. Every, every day of the night. From the interior standpoint, what kind of shape was it when you got it and what have you had to do to restore the interior? Uh, the interior, I had to put a new floor in it and uh, rocker panels, uh, replaced all the carpet, just repainted the dash, put all new gauges in it, and then I put, like I said, Cadillac CTSV seats in it. I wanted bucket seats, got rid of the gas tank and behind the seat. Is this the engine that it came with or did you change out that power plant? Yeah, I changed it out. It had a 383 stroker in it. It was a 468 big block. How does the back end look on this car? What did you have to do to modify that? I re-geared it and uh, put all new suspension in the back. I uh, C-notched the frame. It's cut so it's actually so I can lower it seven inches. So it's all suspension. It's no uh, airbags or anything. It's all suspension. What were some of your greatest challenges in the restoration process of this car? A lot of welding. So you did all the welding, all the body work yourself? Yeah, everything. I've done the painting, body work, uh, all the fab work, um, everything. And what is the performance like on this car, the way it sits today? It's like driving a high-performance go-kart, <laughs> basically. You ever take it out on the road and open it up? Uh, yeah, just when I brought it here. <laughs> on the way here. I would suspect this car pretty much reacts when you put your foot in the pedal. Uh, yes, yeah, quickly. Let's talk about the numbers on this car. What was it purchased for? What do you think you've put into the car as far as restoration? And lastly, what do you think the street value is in this car as it sits in this car show today? I have about, I bought it for five and I think I have probably 25,000 in it. And it's probably about $35,000 truck. What does this car mean to you? Just a toy, <laughs> basically a toy. I mean, that's all it is, really. It's just a toy to have fun with and act like a teenager. <laughs> Do you get a lot of reactions to this car when you're driving it to cruise ins, car shows, and down Main Street? Oh, yeah. A lot of people look at it because it's so loud. You know, it's radical sounding. It's, it's like a pro street car, race car driving down the road. Do you think it's more fun to restore or is it more fun to own? I like both. I mean, it's tension reliever to work on the cars because you know what you've done to it and makes you happy because you're done, you accomplish something and you get to drive it. So what's your advice to others who might want to get in the game and own a car, maybe restore a car? Look at it really good before you buy it. That's the best 
thing I could say. Look at it before you buy it. Make sure you know what you're looking for. What are some of the gotchas that people get tripped up when they buy a car and they didn't look carefully like you suggest? You know, frame problems. Uh, nobody foresees that. You know, crack frame or something spider cracked or something where you can't do it yourself. Well, you got to get somebody else to do it. What began as a childhood dream has become a reality in the form of a 1968 Pro Street Chevy C10 fleet side truck. If you enjoyed this show and don't want to miss the next new episode, then click on the subscribe button in the description below and I'll send you an email with a link to each new show as it's posted. This is the easiest and best way to hear the stories behind these amazing cars. You can also check out this car and more on our YouTube channel and on our Instagram page where we post the best of the best from car shows and cruise-ins. Just follow the links to these channels on our website at greatamericancruisein.com. And if you have a car that you want to show off, send us an email with pictures and all the details so that we can show it off on our website. See the footer section of our homepage for more information. I want to thank you for spending your time with me, and I look forward to sharing the next amazing classic car story on the Great American Cruise Inn.